In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the font weight property to define the boldness of text on your page, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business by getting better at coding. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture and learn more about font weight. Let's go check it out. So on the left hand side here, we have a simple HTML page set up with a heading and a paragraph. And we're gonna change the paragraph font weight to bold. Currently it's normal as you can see on the right hand side where, it's, where there's a representation of our HTML page in the browser, it's not bolded. But if we go into our style tags, type in the P selector and type in font weight and make it bold. Save, refresh the page over here and we see our font weight is now bold. You might also see, we might run across things like font weight of 400. We refresh the page and we see it goes back to normal. That's because this New Times Roman font only has two options, bold or not bold. However, there are some font faces out there that will allow you to have degrees of boldness. So that's where these 400 or this 400 comes in. You can do 100 through to 900. So if we change this to 900, this is going to be bold now. Because our New Times Roman at some point at maybe 800, no, at 600, probably at 500, that makes sense. So at 500, it goes back to normal, and we only have the two options. But like I said, there's other fonts where you have more options. And that's all there is to font weight. I hope this video helps you. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, also hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube notifies you when I publish more tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos that just popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about coding. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.